I wanted to get your perspective on uh, what you were feeling as you watched this trial today from your perspective as someone who was uh, being attacked that day and also uh, your experience as a former federal prosecutor. Sure. Well, thanks for having me, Lawrence. I, I think the, the most difficult part to watch for me was the, uh, the video that the House managers put together. Because as I was sitting in the chamber and going through the events, we didn't have a TV in there. So I was getting texts on my phone about the ongoing events. But to see the video and to see what was going on in real time, to see the mob, um, to see the heroic actions of the Capitol Police, it's been heartbreaking. Um, we've already had two members of the Capitol Police Force die by suicide. And to see uh, what they went through firsthand was very, very difficult. And then to see in real time how the president was continuing to incite the mob, incited them to go over, knew they were marching on the Capitol as I was inside, um, knowing that he was sending them over to attack our Capitol, our Congress, me, um, and then to know that even as they were inside the building, even after they had breached the building, he was continuing to incite them via tweet about what he thought the vice president should be doing. Um, that was hard to watch. Yeah, I, I thought about it as I was watching it, that it shows very clearly uh, how oblivious you all were in the House chamber and in the Senate chamber to what was happening sequentially, because the video lines it up sequentially, and they are already attacking the building, and no one in the Senate or House chambers uh, knows that at the time. Yeah, it, it was chilling, because I, I remember myself, obviously, in that moment, and you can see how inside the chamber was so quiet. Um, and then outside this mob is going on. And, and then we, you know, as Jamie Raskin described it, that battering on the doors as they had breached the doors and were trying to breach it. But even at that point, even as, as I was in the gallery, so, so your viewers who have seen the barricade with the, the police with their, their guns drawn, that's where I was. Even there and knowing the mob was trying to attack I really had no sense of scale. I had no sense of how large the mob was. And and again, I, I didn't know they were carrying zip ties and meant to kidnap and kill people. Um, it that, that video was awful, but to me, the worst part, the very worst part of that video was when you saw the policeman um, shoved against the wall screaming uh, to see um, how our officers really put their lives on the line. I knew that, but it's one thing to know it, and it's another thing to watch those those really horrible images. There has been uh, indications that the House managers will be presenting new evidence that we haven't seen before. Uh, are you aware of what that evidence is? Um, I'm not aware of the particulars of the new evidence, uh, but I will say I, I don't know how you could have watched the House managers today, how you could have watched their arguments. I thought they were cogent, um, and I thought they laid out the case so very well compared to Trump's lawyers who, um, you know, seemed almost as if, uh, if Castro had sort of woken up this morning and thought, oh, shoot, I, I have to put on a trial today. Um, I don't know how you could have found um, in any other way than, than really the way Senator Cassidy did. And I think he, he explained it, that, that looking at that case, um, you would have had to have almost found for the impeachment managers, for the House impeachment managers, and for the constitutionality of putting on this impeachment trial. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.